focusing. Movies that she liked, likes would never be made. Transformers would not be made. The Harry Potter movies wouldn't be made because the Republicans would object. We probably wouldn't even make The Hobbit. The yeah. Hobbit wouldn't be made because the Republicans would object. And this is the way it works. They would have Republicans and Democrats setting yeah. on a censorship board. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. I'm thinking only the Disney movies would get made, but there's violence in Disney movies. Uh, so Bam Bambi wouldn't get made because there was gunfire. So let's see. What do you have? Uh, Romantic uh, comedies. Let's put it this way: we have the uh, we have. What happens if it's animation and shows violence? Uh -uh. The Song of the South is a banned movie today by both parties because it depicts. It, it, it depicts racism. Mm -hmm. It depends on southern, it's a southern male that basically is, is telling the stories of what happened. You know, like Br'er Rabbit, the character. Guy, I mean, I like the guy. Basically, he was a great speaker, great actor, great singer, but it depicts racism. That movie has not seen the light of day since the Civil Rights Act passed. Mm -hmm. And so there, that was that was animation. With, remember Uncle Remus telling the tales. Yeah. You've never seen Br'er Rabbit. Never, never seen. seen you never. You've never seen. Uh, you never. You know, tortoise, tor turtle, tur tur uh, tortoise, tortoise, and the hare. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where all that stuff came from. But um, you think nothing would be approved because you can never get both. It basically, um, uh, there would be the Republicans would object to anything that had sex, and the Democrats would basically approve. The more sex, the better. <coughs> Republicans would approve. So. You tell me how any movie would ever get movie or TV show would ever get made with the uh, with the two parties wanting the two you know it's why it, it, it's just a disaster. The film industry, um, I can tell you flat out, I axed out a bunch of people off my Facebook page last night because they're bloody morons, total and absolute. Well, this will not result in censorship. This will result in a better, more stable America. No. They uh, they basically were anti-religious, you know, anti uh, you know pro, anti-religious, pro-gay, anti-republican, anti-business, mm -hmm. pro-gun control, anti every god awful thing under the universe, unless it was a Democratic Party proposal. Mm -hmm. And their proposals are so out of the mainstream. But like I said, Republican leaders and Democratic leaders don't care what you think. They really don't. And if you think they do, vote one of them into office and see what's going to happen. Actually, you don't even have to vote. Okay, um, does Barack Obama have to win one single vote to become president of the United States? No. No, because he controls the Senate. They expect to control the Senate. And the rule, because the uh, people, those old white guys in those star, uh, powder blue hats, powder white, white powdered hats, never dreamed that anybody would not leave office. They never wrote a means of removing person from office except by the, a vote of Congress and the Democrats control the Senate and the Senate is the one that kicks you out. Mm -hmm. So as long And then as, even if they kick you out, it doesn't mean you have to leave. No, no, no. The de if the Senate kicks you out, you leave. No, you're supposed to leave. No, they can use the power of the Senate actually has power of oh, enforcement to physically oh, they, Senate can, physically take you Senate out. Senate can vote to remove any president for thirty days for observation. Mm -hmm. What happens is if they remove the president for they actually have no power to remove the president, but they can't put him they can't impeach him and then put him in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. They can't impeach him and put him in a hospital for thirty days. Well that's being done, the other president becomes president. And he becomes the man in charge of the system. But um, the, um, Barack Obama has already weighed in. I do think we need a, we need something to make this make the make the industry more civil to the population. He is called. This is the people that basically are supporting him in the industry. Ah! He bites the hand that feeds him because they actually. That's not new. They've been watching him do that. Though. I know, but okay. What is the difference between a Republican and a Democrat? Republicans know they're going to get screwed. Democrats think, well, he's going to be different. Mm -hmm. It's just um, um, Tommy Smothers. I worked on an episode. I uh, worked on Smothers, but a long time ago. And yeah, you know, and they're, I'm doing. I actually did say and dance and bad things in the '60s. Uh, and Tommy, and Dickie Smothers, um, are are you going? To, you know, we, well, you know what happened to us on the last show. Are you? Are you? Are, you know. Are you going to walk off the bridge again? And he, he goes, it might 
might be different this time. <laughs> See, the definition, here's the one that wrote the definition of insanity was Albert Einstein. You know what the definition of insanity is? What? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Mm -hmm. Socialism has never worked. Gun control has never worked. All of these things have never worked, but we're going to make it work. Mm -hmm. you know, because, uh, you know, we can get My father was a police officer. You know, he basically he was actually a rent a cop on a motorcycle, you know. But he did actually go out and do patrols like other people because they had to in order to keep their thing going. But he was, he, he was a he basically did motion picture industry stuff because they wanted people doing industry stuff that was one of them. Mm -hmm. Because if you want somebody went out and got a bunch of beer they weren't supposed to be having, you didn't notice that they were not doing it. You know, like if a minor were drinking, you didn't notice the minor were drinking. But my father said They've been doing this gun thing since the night. My father was a police officer in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Mm -hmm. And he said, it, he, he said that as early as the early 30s, they were to hang up on, well, you know, because there were too many guns in the United States back then. And he said that, you know, he told me, he said once, he said, him and his partner, um, Robert Flemington, he said, they give him an order. They're, they're both rent cops. You know, they basically only do parades, they do movie stuff, and they do that. They said, well, we need you to go in and take this gun from this person. And my father, they, my father, they turned to Fleming, Bobby Fleming, he said, Fleming, he said I'm not going to do that. And the guy Fleming then told us, he said, they'll shoot us. And he said, you don't think a person with a gun that you want to take from him isn't going to shoot you? And they said, well, somebody has to go do it. They couldn't find anybody on the force was loony enough to go into a home where a guy had a zillion pieces of equipment and take his guns from him. You think that the attitude has changed in the police department in the last 60 years? Not likely. No. Nobody wants to be that person that goes through the door first because who's going to get shot? Mm -hmm. They said, well, you know, and then, oh, then you're going to blow the building up to get the guns. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? What about the people that don't have guns mm -hmm. in the building? You know, well, you know, well, we didn't mean to shoot tear gas in the building and burn the whole building down. Yeah, they, they, that's what happens. Tear gas, if it's fired into something, catches fire. So nobody is going to want to go in to take guns out of homes. And they say, well, the next best thing, I love this one. Well, the British basically, they originally said, we can stop gun problems. We can let them keep their rifles and all their guns, but we'll restrict the ammunition. And you've got to bring the empty cartridge cases in to get the ammunition. That didn't work because they just got him. He's an island. They just they brought the stuff in. And there was a, well, how in the hell did those people get the ammunition for those handguns and those rifles? Because it's an island. They brought it in. You realize that we've got one that got off one of the biggest borders in the history of mankind? And some people's property butt up to Mexico and Canada. Mm -hmm. You can walk on your own property into Canada and get stuff. As far as they're concerned, well, Oh yeah, you own the you know you have a mailbox on both sides. Oh, you see, you're at you're at box e e e e e Canada. Okay, here, how much ammunition do you? Want? I am wanted sixty-seven thousand rounds of dumb dumb bullets. Oh, okay, what do you got to do? I've got a bird problem. Oh, that'll certainly end it. Mm -hmm. That's how it works in countries where you can go get the stuff, but they don't really care. So, <laughs> uh, but um, do you? Um, I, I see nothing good coming. I've been in the industry all of my life, and I have seen one group after another tear into the industry. And every time I've seen comic books change, the industry has basically been almost destroyed. I have seen them almost destroy television. I've seen them almost destroy the movies. And this time, they do have, uh, they, they had, there's a difference was they had. Seems the guy that did the shooting is a fruitcake like everybody in the universe, but the authorities do. Well, he, some he, people are just like that. He was undergoing psychiatric care. <laughs> what was your first clue? <laughs> that he was schizophrenia. And they know that that's really pissing them off now. You mean we're not going to be able to fry this guy? No. No, because he's already... <laughs> he's not in the same... I mean, even Sean Hannity. I mean, I, 
I'm not a doctor, but I don't think that man is all there. He's an empty shell. Well, <laughs> well the question is, is why was he on the streets? He, if he, he was already under care. They thought apparently, because he's he okay. They thought apparently he hadn't snapped yet. He had uh, the trick is is like, like a, 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 almost in this thing. I worked on a movie called Captain Newman, um, MD, which Bobby Darren got an Academy Award nomination for playing. It had Eddie Albert. Eddie Albert was playing an officer. That was totally, a, you know, he was in there for a psychiatric evaluation because what happened was he flew an awful lot of flights and flew too many flights. And um, he was there for psychiatric examination, which is what the whole thing was about. All the people were, and they were in Section 7, and if you're in the military, you know what 7 is in the military. It's the loony ward. Mm. And uh, I, I used to spend a lot of time there because my father's best friends were in the loony ward in the, in the hospital. They were nice people. You know, uh, but um, <laughs> and see, sometimes just because they don't understand you or they don't agree with you can end you up in the loony ward. Yeah, you know, even, even, you know like uh, you would go to the Rock with with, uh, with Sean Connery, where he was sent to jail for because he he was he was understood. So they sent him to a, they sent him to a section of a, of a, of a prison for years. But uh, um, but Eddie Albert was a person that. Totally charming, normal, just a perfect example of a person that didn't need medical care, and then he snapped, and he became, he didn't need wing, he didn't need a plane to fly. He just got up on top of a water oh. tower and flew. He snapped just like that. And the smarter the person is, the more strained they're under. This is the guy in in Colorado was a genius, and he was he got tired of being a genius. And he quit school. Because you know, a lot of people would say that's the same thing with homeless people. Yeah. No, well, they don't want home. Most of them don't. You know, so. I know. Cause, well, I mean, there's some that do, but some of them, they chose that lifestyle because yeah. they didn't want the responsibility. So it's a way to get that responsibility. It's why, like, why a lot of white husbands leave their families is because they love the family situation, they love the children, but they can't handle the responsibility. But, um, you know, but because somebody snapped, it's basically causing all sorts of havoc. And God, it happened, you know, like 110 days before an election. Of well, and here's, I mean, okay, if you go back through, you're, you know, and you sit there and go, what's the likelihood of somebody getting killed from drunk driving? Uh, well, it's considerably more than a person ever getting shot in a movie. Right. Movie. What's, it, it actually, right. uh, okay. What's that probability that someone's going to go down in an airplane? Uh, way more than you would get <laughs> shot. I mean, it's like, what's the last time before this that you'd heard of even a movie, a movie shooting? Don't. You mean, don't. No, you mean, you, you mean they didn't even have a shooting in Dellinger, folks. He surrendered. Don't shoot me, Mr. G man. Mm -hmm. Most people don't get shot in theaters because uh, here's the thing. Okay, well we're going to sue them because they didn't have security on the uh, on, on the emergency exit. Well, here's part of the security. It opens into the daylight and you hit shut the damn door from everybody in the theater. And the projectionist sees the door open. Yeah. Everyone in the theater sees the door open. So you don't, and there's also a god awful alarm when the thing opens because it is called an emergency exit. Yeah, everybody will know. Everyone in the theater knows, and they said, well, they should have had more security. It's called the door opens into the sunlight. And if you've been in the dark and you go into the sunlight, the first thing you're going to do is go, <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, you, you know, and he, and. So, uh, but that's it. We're gonna, you, we, we've seen increased security. We've seen armed guards yeah, outside we went the theater. We went to see The Dark Knight Rises. The next morning. Yeah. And they said The that, first showing. That they said that's the standard, not the norm that is coming up. It is armed security, TSA style. You know, I, mean, I, I noticed, here's a good one here. You, when the guy's taking the girl into the theater to get her all wound up, and he's all ready for after it being wound up, what you really want to do is to take everything out of your pants pockets and dump them on a table before you go into a theater. Because you know what, the girl, uh, I'm not going into the theater with you, guy. Yeah, and if it works the same way, you think a young lady is going to want to take the contents of her, okay, uh, kind of take the contents out of her pocket, handbag, and dump them. Means no, means no more handbags, mm -hmm. which means you can't smuggle in candy and stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody that ever goes to a movie brings in munchies. 
you know, you eat their stuff, you still bring in candy bar because they pay five bucks for a candy bar. So you go spend, go to the store and pay 79 cents, get the same candy bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's probably been more raisinettes brought into movie theaters than the movie theaters have ever sold. Um, that that be it. But um, things are changing. Like I said, the worst thing in the, it, that can happen in our nation is when both parties ever agree on anything. We work best as a country where there's no agreement. And it's already started. Yeah, so I guess they're going to hear more about this because it's only going to get worse. So until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or um, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is actually our hard news site. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.